talk about a multi-use toolbox. It's what's holding my desk up. I got it on cheap. It was second hand. It was cheap. It's kind of broken, but I'm working with it because that's just what my budget is. And that book that's holding up there, How to Write a Scientific Report, for anybody who has had the privilege of reading my reports that I'm sending in, you'll understand why I, I figure out how to write them. Hi everyone, it's 9 and 10 a.m. and I'm already up to stuff, so good for me and happy Canada Day! This is what I'm doing today. Um, I'm gonna like redo the whole nail thing, whatever, because I like doing it. it. Relaxes me, whatever, not the point. So I'm sitting on my floor because I've got a bunch of stuff that I think I should redo. I kind of did this video on the fly a, a while back and silly me was still stuck with the words and that, you know, single women need this. No, 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 no. I need to go over this again because one mechanical inclination has nothing to do with gender and level of education also has nothing to do with whether you can put things together or not. However, this is what I think and I've accumulated over the years with the help of my dad. And when I say dad, I mean my stepdad. My stepdad was amazing. Uh, he helped me with this stuff. And this is what I think is like an essential base start um, of what you would need for like tools and, and whatnot. If you're starting on your own, if you're a, you know, a new individual person or if you're a couple moving in. And, and even if you've been for a while, I think these are things, just essential things to have around your house. And again, these are essential things around your house that are not expensive. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of tools and stuff. Yeah, I own a lot of tools. I do. Um, my landlord only recently discovered that I own more tools than he does. Like, well, when it comes to fix things in the building. Once upon a time, I used to be a technician. I fixed ATMs and equipment at Sobeys and all sorts of other places. So I was trained with NCR, which is National Cash Register. Long story, that's a very old company. And Diebold, who does also ATM machines. So, I had all the tools. Why would I throw them out? I don't. And here is just like college tools. And I'm sorry for like the shadows, but um, it's cloudy outside, but hot. That bag I got at Princess Auto for like 12 bucks. And again, most of this stuff is Princess Auto. I'm serious, you can get things, you know, they don't necessarily have to be like top of the line. Like, you know, yeah, this is a Klein tool. Anybody who knows tools, can you see it? Anybody who knows tools knows they're expensive. I mean, you know, at the time I splurged. However, <clears throat> my first thing that I think that is important for people to have in their homes are these little sets. Now, there's supposed to be five, I don't know where the fifth one went. Um, they kind of do the same thing. Now, I can't see. I know that you can't see behind it. Different little shapes. You can buy this set of five at Princess Auto. And, I mean, I bought these like eight years ago. But I'm still assuming it's like under 10 bucks for a set of five. The most important one is this little one here who does the same thing that like, my Klein tool does. And this one actually is the same thing that you can buy at Michael's in the craft section for people who do jewelry and whatnot. It just really comes in handy if you want to clip little things. Since it's sharp enough and tough enough to cut, you know, copper wire and, and little wire, you can just trust me, it comes in handy every once in a while. It's nice to have around. When it comes to these other two here, you know, they're small and little nose pliers. And you'd be amazed at, at what they fix, like, if you have them around. If you don't have them, you probably don't really necessarily miss them. But having them really helps. For example, this is my new alert bracelet. My medic alert bracelet. Again, anybody out there who's on medication or has any kind of, you know, reason to have one should have one. And this particular one I got on eBay. You don't have to pay exorbitant amount of money to the medical alert company to get a bracelet. I don't know why I have to pay them a bazillion dollars. Okay, I do know. It's because they, they register your name with a number. It gives you nothing because you have to redo it every year. So, 
if you don't need fancy schmancy jewelry, <clears throat> eBay will work. It, they even engraved it for you for free. This was $12. There's different ones. I have another one. I'll insert a picture of it. That's the one I had before, but I had to get a new one because I am no longer on lithium. But these pliers came in handy because, you know, it's, it's eBay. So, you know, it's kind of cheap. And this little link here, probably can't see. It opened and, you know, the bracelet fell apart. So I had nice little pliers, so it was easy for me to just, you know, squeeze it together again and, and fix it. Again, $12. Why not? They send it to your house. It's already engraved or whatever you want. And <clears throat> if you're the type of person, however, that wants nice, fancy jewelry, to, you know, because I have these. Yeah, this is from eight years ago. People stop telling me that I'm wasting my money. But again, if you want something that's like super fancy and, and really pretty and jewelry looking, again, I suggest you go to Articast. They have a plethora of them. And I, when I say that, I mean they have like 150 different ones you can pick from that are metacolored bracelets that are made from, you know, gold or white gold. So they're, you know, good quality. Adacast makes their own stuff. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's why they're called Adacast. They, they have, you know, a jeweler on hand. He, it's, anyway. So you can pick whichever one you want and the size that you want, the style that you want. They are a little more expensive. They're about the $100 range. I know. I've checked before I, I discovered eBay. However, that's still cheaper than the one that you can get through Medicolert. And it's also a lot prettier. Because, again, the Medicolert one's pretty basic standard. The ones you'll get at Articast are very pretty. They're very jewelry-like, again, and they will engrave whatever you need to have engraved on the back. And the information that you put on your Medicolored bracelet can be whatever you want it to be. Um, in my case, it's penicillin, food allergy, narcolepsy, and then I'm hypoglycemic. Um, if you have other things here, whatever you want, and the nice part about going to a place like Articast where they are going to engrave it personally for you is you can put someone's phone number on there. So, you know, let's say your your mother-in-law, father-in-law are unfortunately, you know, Alzheimer's and sometimes they forget things. You can get them a pretty bracelet. Now, it's, it's going to look pretty. They'll probably wear it. And you can ha put your phone number, you know. You know, please call this number if this person is found. I'm not kidding. That's a thing. And it's not an insulting thing. It's a thing that you do because you care about the person. So, yep, I'm going to talk about this. Because I just said, in this day and age, you kind of have to build everything yourself. Um, companies are either cheaping out or whatever. I don't, I, I don't know. But either way, I mean, I'm all for cheap. If I got to put it together myself and save 50 bucks, I'll save 50 bucks. And again, these things here are from Princess Auto. And they come in a pack of three. And what are they? They are this stupid thing. Anybody who's ever bought anything from Ikea? And these days, again, everything comes with this. It's called an Allen key. It has that weird hexagonal shape. These things are extremely easy to lose and extremely hard to use because there's no grip. These are three different things and I am trying to get the settings right so that you can actually see with the light. So there's different ones. All right. So these two are standard different sizes of Allen keys. Now, why are there two different sizes? Because one is metric, like the rest of the world, and one is imperial, like the United States of America, because they need to be different. Let's not hate on anybody right now, okay? It's Canada Day. Let's be happy. <clears throat> now, the thing is with this is that you have every size, you know, in one handy little thing. And it gives you kind of like a handle and a grip if you're going to, like, you know, be trying to get things. Now, you've already noticed that there's a green one. What does the green one do? Now, let's see if you can see this. Ah, you can. See the shape? This little funky little star shape. It will grip if it's not like insanely past the stripped. If it's just stripped a little bit, use this one and it'll grip it. But these are cute things. They're called security bits. They come in this little thing. 
Again, you can get the Matte Princess Auto. Now, this is where some of you might realize why I'm talking about it. You see these holes? Every once in a while, you're going to buy something. And, I mean, it's not going to stay on the package, and it's not going to come with a special tool. But you're going to need the little hole part. I think is super neat. You can get this at Princess Auto again. And what it is, it is a magnet and it holds all of, you know, your nails and whatnot. So if you are trying to fix something and you're taking things apart and you do not want to lose your nails or your screws or whatnot, because then trust me, those things roll around everywhere. You can just put them in here and it's a magnet. They're not going to go anywhere. You are not going to lose anything. This is about 2 or $3. So anybody out there that has um, a, a crafty mom or dad or, or partner, significant other, brother, sister, whatever, um, this would make a great gift. It would make a very good, handy gift for any kind of thing. And again, it's like 3 or 4 bucks at Princess Auto. I am pretty sure everybody has one of these, you know, multi-tool, you know, um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're great. They're better than nothing. Definitely better than nothing. Trust me. But there are some essential ones that will also come in handy that are a little bit better. And again, these are from Princess Auto. It was a big pack. About $15 for a whole bunch of them. So these are the three sizes that, you know, I find are important in life. This is just like, you know, the regular, normal size. And again, another flathead, regular, normal size. And the flathead, I mean, there aren't many things that you need to actually use a flathead for these days because, you know, we, we've realized it's a lot easier to, to not use that straight line. But I use this one a lot for leverage. Science and physics, okay? I know a lot of you took those classes and they're like, I'm never going to use this ever in my life. You do use it. You just don't realize you use it. Leverage. You want to open stuff? Use one of these. So there's two sizes when it comes to my fillet heads. And there's a little one and a big one. And you can tell the little one has a lot of white stuff on it. Why? Because that is how I poke holes in the drywall to anchor screws. So now I have some things that I have to hang up that are quite heavy and they need anchors. I will show you. The way to do that is you take a nail, hammer it through so you know you have an initial hole in your drywall. Then you take this handy thing, you know, and with another hammer just through, right through the drywall to make a hole and that's big enough that you can then hammer your anchor in. And then once your anchor is in the wall, you put your screw, you screw it right in to the anchor. This isn't the right screw, but whatever. You screw it right into the anchor. And then you can hang something heavy because this will give it a base and a structure and it won't rip out of your drywall. All right, so this is another example of me having to put anchors in the wall. Now, this was already there when I moved in, but it was, you know, falling apart and I had to, you know, fix it. There is not a lot of storage. This is an old place. And yes, there is wallpaper over tile. And um, I have eyeballs on my shower. This bathroom is so old that yes, it's Pepto Pink. This is my favorite example of why I need to anchor things into the walls. Now this tapestry was given to me by my grandmother when I started university. She thought it would be cool to put up in my dorm. I think she got it, you know, I don't know where, probably, you know, Mexico or something. Uh, she traveled a lot with her grandfather, you know, when they were younger, and uh, she had it in her house. And when, you know, I moved on my own, she thought it was cute, so go grandma. But if you can see, it, it's pretty heavy and it has an eyeball on it too, so I had to anchor that to the wall. But, um, yeah. grandma was a hip, hip lady. I hope you get that reference. Holy macaroni, I'm a nerd. I have everything. So I picked this up at some kind of like trade show. 
So it's got a little, you know, thing where you can write notes in a pencil. So everybody should have measuring tape, okay? And we're not going to go into the, like, that what she said stuff. That, that's not my point. The thing I like about this is that it has a level. Now, I've had this for a very long time before smartphones were around. I'm that old. Because now you can actually get an app on your smartphone, which I do have that app on my smartphone, actually. And it's called the Level app. But, um, yeah. This toolbox, again, was a gift for Christmas from my dad. And um, it, it is actually a pretty good one. It's a Mastercraft one. But not the point. Um, you can still get a toolbox very similar to this. Again, Dollarama, Princess Auto. They're, they're, they're there for cheap. Uh, so what should you have, essentially, in here? Per someone who's who's been living on their own for a while. Um, the most important thing is a pencil. Because when you're trying to hang pictures, when there's more than one that you need to go in the right order, like this one. So this is what I mean when I say that pencils come in handy to put up pictures that are you no know, more than one. I want them to be I mean, that's the best I could do. And these pictures, um, they were like on sale for like 20 bucks at Giant Tiger many years ago. These are what I believe to be essentially what people should have as a toolkit, a basic toolkit in their house. So, hammers definitely speaks for themselves. Basic, you know, nails. Mostly, if you need something, go with the finishing nails. They are multi use. Hooks, not necessarily necessary, but they're good. Um, you know, a bunch of pliers and cutters. Um, again, these are the ones I got as a gift from my father. They they are, you know, Mastercraft, so they are expensive. However, like I said, the, the cheapo ones from Princess Auto, even though they're a little bit smaller, uh, they will still work for the purposes of what you're trying to do in your house. Again, if you're the type of person that needs these bigger ones, you most probably already have them. Anyway, and then these little set of, of Allen keys, different sizes, they're just easier to use and it'll just cut down on frustrations and you will have less gray hair. That's it. And, you know, level, not necessarily these days important, but the app on your phone would be cool. But, you know, measuring tape. Is always good. Measuring tape is good for many things. Mostly if you want to buy an item and you want to make sure it fits in the space, you would like to measure it first. Long story, I learned that the hard way. My dad, again, I love him to death. But he is the type of man who cuts first, measures later. Long story short, when we first got my first dog, Tundra, when I was 12, we built her a doghouse. Now, at the time, we did not have a garage. So, Dad and I spent the whole day in the basement building her a beautiful doghouse. It had the same colors as the house, had the same roof pitch, it matched the house. But Dad did not measure the door to the... You get it. I know. I can hear you laughing. He did not measure the width of the door to the basement. So, we could not get the doghouse out. We had to cut part of it off. That's my story. All right. So... Yes, measuring things is important, people. Multi-bit, yes, everybody should probably have one of these multi-bit at home. However, I do think that it is important to have a, a set, if you can, of sturdy ones. Mostly, you know, sometimes you lose the bits, you cannot find them. And when it's all, you know, one steady piece, it's easier when you need to, like, really wrench those in because sometimes when you live in old buildings things kind of get stuck and then we have again you know our our little kit because if you can just get one thing this kit is what i would suggest a kit uh, of this kind it has all the basic things you know without the hammer that i just just mentioned and you know so this is a great thing with the light you know we always need light if you know, light this goes out same thing goes for, you know, if the power goes out, candles and battery powered candles. So that is it. I thank you so much for putting up with me.